Hey lovebugs, it's your girl Disastrous Beauty coming back with the voiceover. So this unit I did caught with my own coins. It is by Bobby Boss and this is in the style London. This unit does come with two combs in the front, one comb in the back with adjustable straps and it also has one of those elastic bands. So right here I'm going to go in with my bed head and child I was cutting out a lot of clips. <laughs> I was cutting out a lot of clips especially once you guys have seen over and over again. But um, yeah I'm just using the stuff that I normally use doing the same thing that I normally do okay. <laughs> I just the video was way too long and I had to cut out some stuff so yeah so right here I'm just gonna be uh, detangling no not child no I'm not right here I'm gonna be going in with my Sephora micro smooth and it was just to kind of blend the lace a little bit better um you guys can see my wig cap I meant to take it off and child she forgot okay she forgot and it is what it is okay you can see it. <laughs> you can see it all the way back there but yeah so um I would recommend either when doing the ball cap method or not wearing a cap with this unit and yeah y'all that is pretty much it so i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys continue to watch and i will see you love us in the outro bye <music>
Yeah, so that's the parting space, and you can part it wherever you like. Like, it is a frontal. You can part it, you know. You can you can take it there, sis, okay? If you want to, you can take it there. So, yeah. Um, this unit does come with two combs in the front, one comb in the back with adjustable straps. This is a frontal unit, so the combs are, like, back here. I remember when I first got Crispina, uh, which is about, I think, yeah, that is by Bobby Boss. It was my first frontal wig, and I could not figure out how the combs were all the way back here. And I was like, oh, my God, I could never get that wig to work for me. But, yeah, with the frontal wigs, the combs are usually back, like, in the back. And um, this is a human hair blend. So, human hair blend is, you know, obviously it's not a human hair wig. It just has human hair fibers. It's a mix. It's a mix of synthetic and a mix of human. Uh, as far as it being big head friendly, it is pretty big head friendly. I think if you have a larger head, you will be able to fit it, uh, by adjusting the straps like accordingly. And I think if you have a smaller head, you can do the same by adjusting the straps accordingly. Like you basically got an elastic bands and you got the regular adjustable, adjustable strap. So I think anybody can pretty much wear this wig. I feel like it was really big head friendly. It fits me really nicely. And I do have on my wig cap, but it's all the way back here. And I don't know if you guys can tell. You maybe can. It's like right there. You can see the difference. And I once I put it on, I had already adhered the front. And I was like, oh, oh my God. I should have took it, taken off my wig cap. And I didn't. But whatever. We are here now, honey. Okay. <laughs> Ain't nobody got no business looking all up in my head like that anyway. Okay. But yeah, that is that is pretty much that. Like, it has the baby hairs. Uh... Shedding and tangling. Now, I haven't noticed any shedding. I say that with a piece of hair attached to me. That's that's my nails. My nails need to be redone, and they just picking up my hair, my wig. But I haven't noticed any actual shedding from the wig. But the tangling, honey, yes. Okay, yes. There is some tangling with this wig. Um, I did comb out some, but there is some tangling. And I kind of expected it. You know, it's longer and it's curly. Which is another one of my reasons why I typically prefer shorter wigs. Whether it's human or, or synthetic or mixed. I prefer shorter wigs because I just feel like they, they don't tangle as much. And child, they're just not in my way, okay? <laughs> they, they just not all up in my way. But whatever, y'all. To each their own. There are a lot of people that do like longer wigs. So I get it, sis. I get it. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Now, um, I'm going to get into how I feel about this wig, if I think you, you should cop it or not. So, if you are interested in, you know, in anything that I use, I will talk a little bit more about that. And, yeah. So, if you are interested, then please continue to watch. Child, I forgot to give you a lint check. Okay? See, it's been so long since I worn a long unit. I don't even know how to tell you guys that um, I'm going to do a lint check. Now, this is how long the hair is in the front. I am 5'4". Now, we can get into my review. So how do I feel about this wig? I think it is a really, really nice wig. I really think Bobby Boss did their thing with this wig. It really does remind me of the Sensational What Lace Collection. Like, it's just a really, really nice wig. The hairline is nice. I actually like the lace on their wigs better than the Sensational ones because the Sensational ones can give you that ashy feel. But I feel like their lace was pretty dark. Um... And I did not put anything on it. Like, I didn't put any Sally Hansen airbrush legs or anything. Like, I really just let the lace do its own thing. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, there wasn't a whole lot that I had to do to it. I did apply some of my setting powder, uh, my Sephora Micro Smooth on it. But, on the hairline, but that was it as far as the lace goes. Now, with the, the hair, the hair is tangly. Like, that is, that is, I'm not happy about that. And, actually... At the top, it feels so good, y'all. Like, I cannot tell you how good it feels up here. It feels so good. But the actual, the rest of the hair, the colored part, doesn't. Like, it <laughs> It feels, mm, it feels kind of dry. I don't know how to explain it. It feels like it's going to be a tangly mess. Like, I will be having to wear this hair to work because I already adhered it. And I'm, okay, like, <laughs> I'm just going to end up having to wear it to work. So, I know by the end of the night. That this will probably be pulled back in a ponytail or a clamp or something because 
I just feel like it's just gonna really, really get on my nerves and really, really tangle. Like, that's kind of how I feel about this wig. But the wig in itself, I feel like it is really, really pretty. Like, I think it is a really, really pretty wig. I actually like these colors. So I feel like these colors are on trend, even with that, that lighter blonde color right in the front. Like, I feel like that is super on trend right now. It's, it's a little bit more than what everybody is doing. Like, usually it's just, you know, the one blonde, but... Um, I still think it is pretty. I, I, I think it is a really, really cute wig. Like, and would I recommend you buying it? Yes, if you are okay with maybe having to cut it soon. I, I mean, really soon. If you're okay with that. And, um, or maybe if you just want to get it for a particular event. Like, I feel like it's one of those wigs that is great for one of those one and done type things. But because it is, it, at least in this color, it is pretty tangly. Now, I feel like maybe because this part feels so good up here, maybe if you get it in a natural color, it will not be so prone to being tangled. But I feel like in this particular color, it is very prone to being tangly. And yeah, so I, I just think it's, it really depends on you. Like a lot of people are really, really anal about their wig skin tangly, you know, and, and all of that, especially if they spend a certain amount of money on it. And I'm not really, I don't remember how much this wig costs, but I know... It was pretty high for synthetic wigs, as far as synthetic wigs go, because it is a frontal. Like, nowadays, they charge a lot for the synthetic wigs because they're frontals, or they, you know, the lace is bomb, or the hairline is pre-tweezed and all that, so they charge them more because of that. So, it just depends on you, sis, okay? <laughs> it just depends on you. Like, I did, I bought it. I'm not mad that I bought it whatsoever. I think it is still a really, really nice wig. I... I I know when I go to work, everybody's like, oh, you look cute, you know. I just feel like it's one of those wigs, but it just depends on you, sis. Journey Brown's tablet has died, which means this is the end of my ride. So this is obviously the unit in the front. This is it on the left side. This is it in the back. And this is it on the right side. So, if you guys are feeling it, let me know down below in the comments. Um, I did this video because um, somebody did ask me about, did I know about Bobby Boss having the 13 by 7 weeks? And I didn't. So, I was like, obviously, you know, they were interested in me reviewing it. So, I did. I bought it. Um, and, yeah, I like it. So, thank you. I don't remember who it was. Oh, my God. I know I wrote their name down, but I don't have my book with me. Because usually when I'm going through comments and people are requesting things, I have now tried to start writing it down because I have the worst memory ever. Okay, the worst memory. So, yeah, I did write their name down, but you know who you are. Thank you, baby. And, yeah, that is pretty much it. So, all the information will be listed down below in the description box for your convenience. And, yeah, we can wrap this thing all the way up, up, like up, up, up. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm done. So, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, something you feel like I may have left out, feel free to comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed, sis the subscribe button and if you're not already following me on all my social media platforms i am disastrous beauty on both ig and facebook i'm held to missy on snapchat and i'm disastrous be on twitter and i will see you love bugs next time bye <laughs> girl you got that thing down you go ahead sis